folks. Um, this is the um, video, second video about the magpie exercise. I should have made this earlier, I realize, because what I'm seeing is that there's a lot of confusion about how to do what I honestly thought was a fairly simple problem. But um, I think it, it's just, yeah, it, it, there was confusion about what the problem was. So hope to clear that up here, and then I think you'll be able to do this fairly easily. So <clears throat> here's Magpie Runner 5. And currently it's set up to um, open, make an instance of Magpie Fred, um, which is a working version of Magpie that does what I want you to do. Um, <clears throat> this is Magpie 5, the one that you, you have to, to modify. So let's take a look at Magpie Runner first. Okay, so here I have, instead of making a new Magpie 5, I'm making a new Magpie Fred. When I make a new Magpie Fred in the constructor of Magpie, it's actually reading responses, past responses, that are stored in a text file into an array list that's in Magpie Fred. And that array list contains random response or responses that will be used whenever Magpie needs a random response. Currently, or the, the version of Magpie that you start with, Magpie 5, it has three or four responses that are stored, random responses that are stored in an array. So you have to modify that so that the responses are stored in an array list, and that array list is filled instead of from um, some, some static statements, it's filled from the text file. So that's all happening right here when I call, make a new magpie fret. It's in the constructor. It's calling a method that reads responses into an array list from a text file. Right? When that's all done, you come back to here. I have this system out printland by to exit program so that the user knows that they enter that when the program, when they're done. Then uh, it calls the get greeting method of Maggie, which just says short greeting. Now there's a new uh, scanner so that we can get input from the keyboard. And this line will get that first one. And if that, whatever the user types, is not equal to the capital BYE, and we come in and we <clears throat> call Maggie, get response, and we pass in what the user typed, right? So, um, um, and then after that, we get another response from the user, right? Next line from the user. And uh, until the user types by. Now, when user types by, we come down and drop down to this line, and we call a method in Maggie, remember, which is an object of Magpie Fred. Um, we call a method write to text file. And what that method will do is it will take the array list that was created up here, and it will write it to the total contents of that text file, it will write, of that array list will be written back to the text file that we read, we read the responses from. So that the next time this program is run, the possible responses will include the responses that were entered by the previous user. So that would continuously grow that text file as more and more people use this program, or as you, as a person used it more and more times. Okay? So let's just run this quickly. And, <clears throat> okay, so there's the enter by to exit program. That's the greeting, hello, let's talk. And I'll say, uh, I'd really prefer not to. Hmm, it says, okay. Uh, 
you say that a lot. Hmm. Yes, it does. Too much, I think. Yes, I do. Good. Glad to see you agree. Interesting. Tell me more. Well, I don't really want to tell them more, so I'm going to say bye. And you'll notice the program ended, right? And let's go check the text file. So here's the responses text file. You can see it was last modified at 1042, which is what time it is right now. Let's open that up. So here are <clears throat> the the responses that uh, I just entered. Here are previous responses that I tested this program. Right? Um, <clears throat> these are all added to um, the array list each time the program is started. So the next time I run the program, it's possible that when uh, Magpie needs a random response that these latest random responses will be one of the responses that gets chosen, right? Because they're all of these lines are added to the array list. Um, okay. So let's just quickly take a look at where in Magpie you, you need to make modifications. So you're going to need a constructor for Magpie that will um, call a method that will read the responses from the text file, past responses from the text file, into an array list. You'll obviously have to also define an array list here. And you'll have to add the Java I.O., import the Java I.O. stuff. Um, and so basically, let's just go back up to this big if-else block here, this get response, right? So the user's response is sent into here. Um, it's in here that you could, um, you could add, anywhere in here, you could add the user's uh, response to the array list, right? Because the, the user's response is stored in this statement. It's passed into the get response method from the Magpie 5 runner. So you could take that statement, the string, the string, and add it to the array list, right? Um, now, you just want to make sure that, uh, just to come back to that, you just want to make sure that you don't add by and the user types in by that that doesn't get added to the array list. So um, <clears throat> down here, uh, it's here, this get random response that uh, Magpie will call if none of the other things up above were, uh, were, were called, right? So if you, so this calls the get random response method. It's way down here. And the current get random response um, just um, <clears throat> from this method, uh, sorry, this is a this is a field, actually. Uh, where is this? Yeah, I think this is a field um, that is defined way down here, an odd place to define a field. Um, so at any rate, uh, what this does is it, it takes these, um, it takes from this, uh, random responses string, array of strings, right? This is an array of strings. It's called random responses. From that field, it pulls off one of them, right? Uh, 
and returns it back. So that, that's how the random response is generated. So what you have to do is modify this line, right? And, uh, and this needs to get modified so that uh, <clears throat> you, this probably would be modified by a method. You'd have a method here instead of this. This would be the method that would be called from the constructor that at the beginning of the, uh, when Magpie started up, would read from the text file the past random responses. Okay. So, um, and then and then here you would be, it would read from the past random response, it would read from the text file into the array list, right? And from here, you'd be returning a, a line from the array list instead of from this array of strings. Right. Now the only other sort of tricky thing about this is um, the first time you run this, the text file won't exist, right? So uh, you could either use the utility programs that I sent out to create that text file, or you could just um, you could the first time through you could comment out the line that read from the text file in the constructor that you're going to be adding, right? Because there, if the text file didn't exist. And um, <clears throat> you could just put a, like one thing in the array list, right? So the array list starts out, is, is created and, and has some value in it, you wouldn't even need to put anything in it. You would just need to make sure the array list is created in the constructor. Um, and, then, uh, and then as the user typed responses, those responses would be added to the array list. And when the user quits, those would all be written to a text file. Once that text file exists, you would come back into the constructor and uncomment the line that calls the method down at the end here which reads from the text file. Okay, so I hope that's clearer. It's really pretty straightforward. And uh, all the code for reading and writing from text files you have. So it's just making, adding those uh, in here in the correct fashion and a few other minor changes. Okay, thanks, hope this is helpful.